Right. I hope you had a wonderful Children's Day last week and you enjoyed our Children's Day special episode dedicated to the children of the nation as well as Chacha Nehru. We're back on Beyond the Plate with Chef Amrita Raichand and me, Rishi K. You know what it is? It's about food. It's about nutrition. It's about the history of food. It's about the mythology of food and food stories told by this wonderful lady. I'm trying to pick up uh, certain essentials, getting better with each episode, I'd like to say. Today... We're going to dive into Thanksgiving, an American national holiday, a relatively new country with limited history, limited gods. They've had to make up festivals and occasions to celebrate. I mean, at the end of the day, their forefathers landed on the shores of America after Columbus discovered it. And they actually moved from Europe uh, in a mass migration of people. That's the way it is. Time to welcome Amrita. How are you? How was your Children's Day with the Salam Bombay Foundation? Great to be here, Rishi. I'm doing really well. And uh, every Children's Day, I just get closer to children. Salam Bombay is doing very well. A lot of interesting things happening. And I will keep you posted. But today, let us celebrate the the one out of the 11 uh, national holidays that America celebrates. That's all they have? <laughs> That's 11? all they have. Can you believe it? Should I name them to you? Yep. New Year's Day, Martin Luther King's birthday, George Washington's birthday, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Christmas Day, and now Thanksgiving Day that we're going to talk about today. Okay, give me the history of Thanksgiving. How far back does one have to go and uh, uh, what is the genesis of it? You know, it really is actually very interesting, the the history and the story. Um, it actually dates back to 1620s in England, where a group of around 100 people, both men and women, got into a small ship, Mayflower, and set sail to find the new world, present-day USA. These were religious people who were not happy with the Church of England and hence were referred to as pilgrims. Now, they reached the shores of Cape Cod. These explorers named the area Plymouth, current-day Massachusetts, as the Mayflower had set sail from the port of Plymouth in England. Um, following the Mayflower, a few more uh, ships arrived to Plymouth, increasing the size of the colony. But unfortunately, in the first winter itself, uh, many of the settlers died of cold and disease. Now, Rishi, around fall of 1621, the pilgrims and Native Americans actually started reaching out to each other and kind of uh, started getting comfortable. This encouraged the pilgrims to famously share a harvest feast with the Native Americans. It is suggested that uh, these pilgrims went into the jungle and hunted numerous turkeys, which uh, you will agree were much uh, easier compared to a duck shot, you know, because they're big, fat, and they keep trotting around. So it's very easy to uh, hunt them. They used to serve these with the fruits of the first pilgrim harvest, including pumpkins. Now, while the natives, on the other hand, brought with them venison, along with chestnuts, cranberries, artichokes, all uh, native wild plants, which these pilgrims were very new to. The men. So, what what really happened when these two kind of uh, these two tribes uh, got together? Um, men fired guns. They ran races, drank liquor, and it was hilarious because I'm guessing it was hilarious because none of them understood each other's language. Uh, but yet, uh, in this orderly fashion, uh, they celebrated the so-called harvest this massive harvest and it kind of created a treaty between the two this treaty um, in fact lasted until king philip's war in 1675 where hundreds of colonists and thousands of native americans unfortunately lost their lives however this war did not affect the thanksgiving tradition celebrated at every fall and in fact in 1863 after more than two centuries um, president abraham lincoln named the last Thursday in November and called it a national Thanksgiving holiday. So I'm thinking that Thanksgiving perhaps is a way to thank God for having survived migration, winters, boat journeys, um, family, friends, office goers in this day and age. Yeah. Some people obviously incorporate religion because when you're praying, you always think of your God or your faith. And I think the bottom line is it draws from what Hinduism and Buddhism have been saying for, for centuries, which is gratitude. Yeah. It's all about gratitude, peace and celebrating blessings. Okay, let's come down to what is the focus of our show? What food is eaten during Thanksgiving, Amrita? Uh, well, uh, we talked about turkey, but I must uh, add here that 
traditionally the food that was served during this you know so called harvesting feast is very different from what is served today it's obviously grown and evolved and a lot more things have been added like mashed potatoes is a very big thing of thanksgiving festival today but traditionally it never existed because mm. potatoes never existed those days uh, so um, it is definitely different but like you said the the whole um, you know essence of that feast is the same it's all about largeness you know gratitude thanking god thanking friends thanking family along with food which which is you know such a beautiful language of love so to speak uh um, turkey as we all know big turkeys make the centerpiece of any thanksgiving table that can be with stuffing without stuffing but it cannot be served without their classic cranberry sauce of course nowadays a lot of people take the easy way out and served uh, they serve a cranberry um sauce from uh, literally a tin or a can but a lot of people actually make this sauce if you remember friends and we're going to always yeah. miss our favorite chan yeah we all remember that beautiful thanksgiving episode but uh, coming back to the feast um like i mentioned sweet potatoes uh you know turkey lot of side vegetables uh pumpkin of course and desserts uh most famous pumpkin pie apple pie and i must add here all these uh, uh a lot of these recipes are actually there on my youtube channel i'm with the rajan chef and beyond and i would urge all of you to go check it out if you want to have a nice turkey feast at your home so turkey potato deserts and pie Beyond the plate with Chef Amrita Rajan and Meera Shikhe comes to you every Monday 8:15 a.m. onwards Mumbai Delhi Bangalore and Chennai on 94.3 Radio 1 in audio form 48 hours later on Wednesday it's put out on video form on the Radio 1 international YouTube channel the recipe of the day is filmed in Amrit Amrita's exquisite studio and that's at Amrita Rajan on Instagram and at 94.3 Radio 1 India on our Instagram and the extended version of it if you'd like to uh, follow and check that out is on the youtube channel chef and beyond which is amrita's official youtube page the end of the show comes ask amrita the section you can ask her about anything uh whether it's uh, thanksgiving food general nutrition what you should eat anything to do with your diet some food stories she's happy to comply and answer 9833943943 9833943943 is the whatsapp line remember to pop in the whatsapp question along with your name and you're good to go okay recipe of the week time Well, before uh, I move on to the recipe of the week, uh, Rishi, I want to take a moment since it's Thanksgiving week, and it just came to me. I want to thank you also for giving me this opportunity. I think Beyond the Plate has, uh, you know, really um, made a, such a difference in my life, along with the fact that I share so much with uh, Radio One listeners. There's also been a learning for me, and all the feedback that I get from the listeners and from you, uh, it just makes me feel like working. harder every single day so thank you to you and to all the radio uh, one listeners uh, thank you for having me in your life and a part of your family <laughs> all right so what is the recipe of the week naturally it's um, thanksgiving it has to be larger than life it has to be something amazing turkeys are a bit difficult to find uh, in india now M- mumbai all metro cities they are easily available but they are fairly expensive uh, rishi i want to tell you it takes a fairly long time to make turkey you know it goes up to good 3 to 4 hours because it after you roast a turkey you have to also wait for almost an hour uh for it to kind of you know a uh, cool down before you start slicing it so i know that it is a tradition uh for which you uh, you know you want to go out to restaurants and enjoy it but if you want to make something exciting um uh, and as uh, you know flavorful as uh, that uh we can play around with chicken i've shared a lot of roast chicken recipes also on my youtube channel roast lamb but here i'm going to tell you about this yumlicious uh chicken harvest casserole recipe uh, which which really is exotic healthy and at the same time truly sumptuous uh, so basically we take chicken breast um we um have all the different vegetables uh, you can choose what you like but i like to use some carrot french beans cauliflower green peas uh, lots of garlic lots of onion uh, some uh, herbs like thyme you can use rosemary if you like um what we do is uh, first of all you preheat the oven uh, after which you combine all the vegetables with uh, you know with all the aromatics uh, add them to a baking dish and um, drizzle it with some olive oil um, season and then just uh, bake it uh, along with some uh, broth some chicken uh, broth uh, you can add to it uh, to 
add that little moisture that the vegetables need to cook them out um, uh, bake them for around uh, bake it for around 20 to 25 uh, minutes now separately in a pan you will grill these breasts of chicken uh, of course season them first once they're nicely seared they get that nice browning uh, we take the veggies out of the oven we add this uh, these pieces of grilled chicken we grate some cheese on top of it and then we return it to the oven for another 10 minutes so what happens all these juices all these flavors just come together and give you the most hearty harvest feast uh, that you can you know literally make in less than about 40 to 50 minutes wow that really sounds like a delicious chicken harvest i've already started conjuring up <laughs> visuals in my mind and this time it's a question by ankit dear amrita how much water is enough for a day like it's out there that eight glasses of water is enough but what if i'm consuming fruit juice different water-based drinks on a regular basis, then how much water is enough for a day? So this is something that everybody propagates, including me, saying that eight glasses of water is the minimum yardstick. But frankly, uh, water consumption really also depends upon your thirst level. You don't need to unnecessarily drink water. It has to kind of uh, also match with all the other things that you're eating. If you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, they also have a lot of water content in them. Fruit juices are something, first of all, I will not recommend. So, Ankit, if you're having a lot of fruit juices, please stop. Eat that fruit and not the juice. Uh, but having said that, yes, fruit juices do uh, comprise of that uh, water intake. I would recommend you to have Naril Pani instead, coconut water, which is a, a much better source of hydration hydration, electrolytes. Uh, so yes, all the other things that you consume definitely go on to adding up that water content, uh, that water quantity that your body needs. But the bottom line is you must stay hydrated. Uh, don't overthink it. Whenever you're thirsty, go grab a glass of water. Lovely. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Let's celebrate it with great gratitude this Thursday. Thank you for these wonderful themes that you put together. Guys, we are going to be back at 8.15 on radio, Delhi, Mumbai, uh, Chennai and Bengaluru. And then you'll catch us next Wednesday. This Wednesday, of course, catch the Thanksgiving episode. Next Wednesday, again, there'll be a fresh episode on Radio 1 International, the YouTube channel. Meanwhile, keep following Amrita on Instagram, at Amrita Raichan, and Chef and Beyond is the YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. Big love. Thank See you. Thank you for having me, Rishi. See you soon. Happy Thanksgiving. 94.3 Radio 1.